On October 30th, a submarine volcanic eruption occurred near Iwo Jima in the Pacific Ocean, leading to the formation of a new island. The event was first noticed by an aircraft from a Japanese newspaper, which observed the telltale signs of volcanic activity in the southern part of the Izu Ogasawara Arc, about 1,200 kilometers south of Tokyo. The eruption was characterized by explosive interactions of magma with seawater, causing rocks and other materials to be ejected into the air and subsequently forming an island approximately 100 meters across to the north of the eruption site. The University of Tokyo researchers confirmed that the eruption had broken through the ocean's surface at multiple points. The volcanic activity caused the surrounding seawater to change color, a common indicator of such events, and the surface of the newly formed island was covered with pumice. Pumice is a type of volcanic rock that is highly porous and light, typically created from violent eruptions that involve the rapid cooling and depressurization of lava. These types of eruptions, known as phreatomagmatic eruptions, occur when water interacts with hot volcanic materials like magma or superheated rock. The sudden cooling of the magma upon contact with water results in the solidification of volcanic materials. This process has been happening regularly in the region, causing Iwo Jima to rise annually by more than a meter, which is a significant rate of increase for a caldera volcano. Prior to the formation of the new island, a series of volcanic tremors were detected, starting from October 21st and leading up to the eruption. This pattern of seismic activity suggested an upwelling of magma from beneath the seabed, which ultimately led to the formation of the island. This process involves magma solidifying upon contact with seawater, creating a new landmass above the surface. The ongoing volcanic activity implies that additional material is continually being added to the island, which may help it resist erosion. The situation is similar to a previous eruption that took place in July of 2022 on the southeastern coast of Iwo Jima, which also resulted in the discharge of magma and phreatomagmatic explosions. The longevity of the new island is uncertain, as it depends on the duration of the eruptive activity and the rate at which volcanic material accumulates. There is a possibility that the island could eventually join of Iwo Jima if the eruptions continue, altering the landscape of the region. This type of volcanic activity has also led to unexpected historical discoveries, such as in 2021 when the raised seabed exposed sunken ships from the 1945 Battle of Iwo Jima. In conclusion, the recent submarine volcanic eruption near Iwo Jima underscores the dynamic and powerful nature of Earth's geological processes. The emergence of a new island is a stark reminder of the planet's ongoing evolution, sculpted by the forces of volcanism. This event not only adds to the complex geological history of the area, but also provides researchers with a unique opportunity to study the interactions between magma and seawater in real time. The island's future, whether it becomes a permanent feature or succumbs to the ocean's erosive forces, will depend on the persistence and intensity of the volcanic activity in the area. Regardless of its fate, this natural phenomenon continues to captivate scientists and the public alike, offering a tangible connection to the potent and often unseen forces that shape our world. Iceland is currently facing an imminent volcanic eruption. This looming natural event has triggered a state of emergency, with thousands of residents from the town of Grindavik being evacuated amid fears of an impending volcanic disaster. The situation intensified when seismic activities indicating underground magma movement were detected, leading to the evacuation of approximately 4,000 people. The increased seismic activity, coupled with the rapid accumulation of lava beneath the Earth's surface, has put both local residents and authorities on high alert. The town of Grindavik, situated near the capital city of Reykjavik, has become a focal point of this crisis. It was evacuated early Saturday due to underground magma movement, causing hundreds of earthquakes, signaling an imminent eruption. The situation escalated to the point where residents were permitted to return to their homes for a brief period under strict supervision to collect essential belongings and pets, a clear indication of the severity of the threat. This imminent volcanic eruption in Iceland is not just a local concern, but has garnered international attention due to the potential implications for air travel and the environment. A magma tunnel extending beneath Grindavik was reported to be shallower than initially thought, raising concerns about an imminent eruption. Continued seismic activity with about a thousand earthquakes since midnight focused around Grindavik has heightened the eruption probability. The Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa, a major tourist attraction near Grindavik, had closed earlier as a precaution. The ongoing seismic activity has already caused infrastructure damage in and around Grindavik, including roads, buildings and the town's golf course. With 33 active volcanic systems, Iceland is facing an unprecedented event. Emergency shelters and assistance centers have been established, with most residents seeking refuge with friends or relatives. The imminent volcanic eruption in Iceland serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable power of nature. 
The rapid mobilization of emergency services, the controlled evacuation of Grindavik, and the vigilant monitoring of seismic activities underscores the resilience and preparedness of Iceland's authorities and residents in the face of such natural disasters. This event not only highlights the geological uniqueness of Iceland, but also the challenges faced by a nation built on one of the Earth's most active volcanic hotspots. We'll be keeping a close eye on this one, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any future videos. Thanks for watching. Iceland's Rake Janes Peninsula is on the verge of a significant volcanic era, expected to span several centuries as part of a long standing geological cycle. Now, forgive me as I butcher these words, but the peninsula, particularly the areas around Sunnakar and Grindavik, is experiencing increased volcanic activity, signaling the beginning of a new phase in Iceland's volcanic history. In 2021, a volcano erupted in this peninsula for the first time in roughly 800 years, heralding the onset of this new volcanic period. This event marks a continuation of a 1000 year pattern of volcanic activity in the region, which scientists anticipate will lead to numerous eruptions over the coming centuries. Edward W. Marshall, a researcher at the University of Iceland, noted that the region is poised for a prolonged period of eruptions. The Rake Janes Peninsula has seen a surge in seismic activity since October, with Grindavik being evacuated in early November due to the threat of an imminent eruption. A significant magma tunnel extending 15 kilometers between Sunnakur and Grindavik has been identified by the Icelandic Met Office. This development, which includes the region around the Blue Lagoon, indicates a potential for a surface eruption given the high volume of magma moving towards the surface. The magma content in this tunnel is believed to be much greater than that of the 2021 eruptions. Clive Oppenheimer, a volcanology professor at the University of Cambridge, explains that the Rake Janes Peninsula undergoes inactive periods lasting 600 to 1200 years, followed by active phases of 200 to 500 years. The 2021 eruption signaled the start of such an active phase. The Rake Janes Peninsula's location, straddling two tectonic plates, contributes to this cycle. David Pyle, a volcanologist at the University of Oxford, notes that the eruptions relieve tectonic strain, with the current activity representing one of these release phases. While it's uncertain whether the magma tunnel will lead to an eruption, if it does, the event could last several weeks, potentially resulting in more extensive lava flow due to the larger magma volume compared to past eruptions in the area. The scientific community is closely monitoring the situation, with predictions suggesting that if an eruption does not occur within three weeks, the likelihood diminishes as the fractures begin to cool and close. So this is the news for today, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to be notified of when we release videos. And as always, thanks for watching. The town of Grindavik in Iceland faces a renewed evacuation due to volcanic gas emissions raising concerns of a possible eruption. Residents were allowed to briefly return to Grindavik on Tuesday, only to be evacuated again. Despite no current signs of an eruption, the presence of gas suggests magma is near the Earth's surface. The town's populace was evacuated once more following the detection of elevated sulfur dioxide levels. This decision was made after sensors reported these increased levels, hinting at potential volcanic activity. The Iceland Meteorological Office has been closely monitoring the situation, having installed new gas meters in Grindavik. These meters recorded high sulfur dioxide levels, leading to the precautionary evacuation. The situation in Grindavik remains precarious, as indicated by the Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management. The region faces risks of large cracks and potential fire outbreaks. Recent footage from Grindavik shows significant cracks developing in local roads. Seismic activity has also been significant, with around 700 earthquakes recorded in the area, including a magnitude 3.1 at Hagafell. The earthquakes have predominantly been along the magma tunnel, with depths ranging from 1.86 to 3.1 miles. Land deformation in the region continues, aligning with ongoing magma movement beneath the surface. The earthquakes have predominantly been along the magma tunnel, with depths ranging from 3 to 5 kilometers or 1.86 to 3.1 miles. Land deformation in the region continues, aligning with ongoing magma movement beneath the surface. On November 13, residents were briefly allowed back into Grindavik to gather belongings under the looming threat of a volcanic eruption. The IMO has observed a substantial magma flow rate and depth, though some uncertainty in these measurements persists. Despite the high probability of an eruption, recent data suggests any potential eruption in Grindavik might not be explosive, reducing risks to international air travel. In response, emergency crews have started preparing for a likely eruption by constructing defence walls to protect key infrastructure, including the geothermal power plant and the Blue Lagoon. In conclusion, the situation in Grindavik, Iceland is a stark reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. 
The town's repeated evacuations, driven by heightened levels of sulfur dioxide and significant seismic activity, underscore the challenges faced by communities living in geologically active regions. The Icelandic Meteorological Office's vigilant monitoring and the proactive measures taken by local authorities, such as the construction of the fence walls, demonstrate a commitment to public safety. Although the current data suggests a less explosive eruption, which mitigates some risks, particularly for international air travel, the situation remains fluid. The closure of attractions like the Blue Lagoon reflects the broader impact on the community and tourism. This event highlights the importance of continuous monitoring, preparedness and adaptability in the face of natural phenomena. Thanks for watching. Iceland, often called the land of fire and ice, is renowned for its striking volcanic landscape, which features a dramatic interplay of glaciers and volcanoes. This small island nation holds a significant place in the study of geology and volcanology due to its extraordinary volcanic activity. Iceland's unique position atop the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and over a deep-seated magmatic plume makes it one of the most volcanically active regions in the world. Understanding why Iceland is so volcanically active requires delving into the complex interplay of tectonic movements and mantle dynamics that shape its rugged and beautiful terrain. So in this video we'll answer the question of why Iceland is so volcanically active. Welcome to Oz Geographics. Iceland is uniquely situated on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a major global rift zone where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates diverge. This rift zone is a part of the global system of the mid-ocean ridges that encircle the Earth like seams on a baseball. At these divergent plate boundaries, tectonic plates move apart, creating new crust as magma rises from below to fill the void. The continuous pulling apart of the plates at the mid-Atlantic ridge leads to frequent volcanic activity as magma easily reaches the surface through the thinning crust. Adding significantly to the volcanic nature of Iceland is the presence of a deep-seated magmatic or mantle plume. A mantle plume is an abnormal column of hot material that rises from deep within the Earth's mantle. This process results in a higher than average production of magma. In Iceland's case, the plume adds to the magma generated by the rifting processes, leading to more voluminous and frequent eruptions. The convergence of the active rift zone combined with the magmatic plume beneath Iceland creates a potent combination for volcanic activity. The rifting process allows for the easy ascent of magma, while the magmatic plume provides an additional and significant source of molten material. This dual source of magma is a key reason why Iceland experiences such high levels of volcanic activity. It's experiencing a double whammy. The impact of this unique geological setting is evident in Iceland's landscape, which features an array of volcanic structures including fish events, shield volcanoes and stratovolcanoes. The frequent volcanic eruptions have shaped the island's topography, creating dramatic landscapes of lava fields, basalt columns and volcanic craters. Iceland's intense volcanic activity has made it a prime location for geological research. Scientists study the island to better understand the processes of plate tectonics, mantle plumes and volcanic activity. Additionally, there is a significant effort in monitoring the volcanic activity to predict eruptions and mitigate their impact on the population. In conclusion, Iceland's position as one of the most volcanically active areas in the world is due to its location on an active rift zone and the presence of a magmatic plume beneath it. This combination leads to the high production of magma, frequent eruptions and a dynamically evolving landscape, making Iceland a natural laboratory for studying Earth's geological processes. I hope this video helps you to better understand why Iceland is so volcanically active. And if it did, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.